Let's start off with ammonium. The last one was ammonia. This one is ammonium. Notice it has four hydrogens instead of three, and it has an overall positive charge. But the rules are the same. So let me get out my pen. I just need to break apart the pieces and add up the valence electrons. That's what it says to do for number one. So I've got nitrogen, and I've got hydrogen, but I've got four hydrogens. And if I look at hydrogen right here, it's got one valence electron. Four times one is going to give me four electrons. E negative is abbreviation for electrons. And I find nitrogen, it's over here in the one, two, three, four, five. That means it has five valence electrons. Five. I'm just going to move it over here to make it easy. I add these up. Five plus four gives me nine electrons. Now here's an interesting thing. This plus means that my ammonium has an overall positive charge. Now we know that electrons have a negative charge. So if one of these electrons were to go away, I would have one fewer electron than I did before, which means I would now have an overall positive charge. So I need to get rid of one of my electrons to account for this positive up here, okay? And that means I only have eight electrons to build my structure with. Again, this is really important. Right here, because of this overall positive charge, I had to get rid of an electron. We'll look at what happens if that's a negative charge in just a minute. Let me get rid of some lines. We've got eight electrons to build our structure with, and I do exactly the same thing I did before. I'm going to put my nitrogen in the middle, and then I'm going to draw in my bonds. Now before I was drawing in all of the electrons, that gets a little tedious. So um, that was more for example. This is really, <clears throat> excuse me, how I draw it out. We've got nitrogen and we've got four hydrogens. So we know that we can only make four bonds with anything because we only have Four, share, uh, four places where we can share. So when we draw this structure out, now we need to count up, well, how many electrons did we use when we built the skeleton structure? Okay, so we just built the skeleton structure. Now we need to use up all of the other electrons. But let's see if we have any electrons left. We've used two in this bond, two in this bond, two in this bond, and two in that bond. That gives me a total of eight electrons we've used. And if we look down here, we can only use eight electrons. So we don't have any left. We don't have to do anything else except, do we need to add brackets if the compound has a formal charge? Does this have a formal charge? Right here it does. So yes, we do need to add our formal charge on this or add brackets. And we do that just like this. There's my plus, same plus that I have right there. Then, um, I don't have any resonance structures. We don't know what that is yet. I'll show you in just a bit. And then I need to check my answer. So, every one of the electrons, or every one of the elements, should have eight electrons around it, except for the hydrogen. It only needs to have two. I go to check my hydrogens. This hydrogen has two, this hydrogen has two, this one has two, and this one has two, so all the hydrogens are happy. The nitrogen has two, four, six, eight, so it's happy, and it looks like this is the correct structure. I'm going to erase this and show you the real one. Here's the cleaned up version of what we just did. Notice we have the plus um, up above our brackets to show that this whole thing, everything that we drew inside these brackets, is missing one electron. One electron had to go away in order for this to form.